All right, guys, turn up your phones. Let's do it. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. Hmm? Okay, vamos en tres, dos, uno, a la live. Hey, guys, we are back. You're listening to Asphalt by our own local all English radio show. And right now, we're going to have a nice talk to this nice family. They represent Life with Louis. Life right. at Louis. Yes. Yeah, yes. Louis is a huge fan of mine. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I have a new number one fan. Sorry to the other number one fans out there. It's Dinosaur. now Louis. Yes, yes. I love it that you're here. Thank you guys for, for coming and Thank you. Uh, for telling Life us. We want Louis. to know. We want to know about you guys. We want to know about you. And we want to know about your the stuff that you're doing. One thing that really um you know uh, really that I was like, oh my gosh, this is interesting. You know, these guys are like giving away free stuff to help out Vallarta. Uh, and this is why you guys both are here. Mm -hmm. So you can tell us what you're giving away and why. So, okay. Um, well, first of all, again, thank you all for having us here. We really appreciate it and an opportunity to share our, your platform. Um, so I'll talk a little bit just about our, our channel and then I could let Landy speak about the cleanup because that was really kind of her little brainchild that she kind of came up with the idea. So, you know, our channel is Life with Louie, as we mentioned, you know, and we just kind of, you know, explore Mexico, you know, kind of a typical channel in that sense. And, mm -hmm. you know, we give our opinions and how we experienced it and, you know, all the good and bad that comes with living abroad, especially as foreigners. Um, you know, we now we call our at the home. We've been here for about five months. Oh. And um, in Mexico, we've been here for about three years. Okay. And, you know, so now after being here for a while and kind of we live close to one of the beaches, you know, and, you know, one of the issues at this face with Varita is, you know, there is, uh, you know, some trash on the beaches, right? And mm -hmm. so I think that's where Landy, she loves to take her morning walks and kind of came up with that, this idea. And so I could just kind of kick it over to her and let her explain a little bit more about the idea and what we're thinking about. Hi, Landy. Thanks Hi. for being here. And thanks for having that wonderful, great <laughs> idea. <Yeah. laughs> this is awesome. So tell me about it. Um, okay, I'm Landy. Um, so the idea is came out, especially after the raining season. Mm -hmm. And I walked to the beach the other morning and I was shocked. There's so much trash, so much plastic bottles and they're giant trashes. But of course we know a lot of trash are from the Guales River. Right. After the rain, they all came down. And I also saw some other people's organization have a Saturday morning pick up in Bidia or Guales River. But I never really been there as I have a four year old. It's Saturday mm -hmm. morning, <laughs> not very easy for me to go all the way there. But I think at least I can help the beach, which is near where I live, which is only five minutes away by the Las Glorias area. But I know the organization or the city workers, they're going to come to help with the, all the trashes because there's a lot, even the hotel stuff. But still, there are a lot of remaining trashes still around, mm -hmm. especially plastic bottles, the the, all the covers for those bottles, cans, etc. Um, so one day I was like, okay, I take a walk anyway. Why not just pick up some trash? So I did it. And, but the result is I'm happy with what I picked. But the next day I feel my waist muscles are really sore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I had the idea like, oh, if I'm pretty, uh, I'm mid, mid age and I'm pretty fit. I said, even I feel sore. What about older people? Right. Because we know a lot of foreigners living here, they want to help. But the majority of their age are 40 plus, 50 or even 60 plus. Mm. But how, how that can be harmful to them. So I was looking for the, <laughs> those, those pickup things, mm -hmm. which I found on the, um, online. So I bought some. I bought two for us. Main, uh, one for me, one is for my son. Mm -hmm. And so we did another trash pickup. I said, oh, that's now it's getting much easier and I can Better. pick up more. <laughs> <laughs> and my son also liked that. And I think it's good education for the kid. Mm -hmm. He also said, yeah, it's good that we pick up some plastics because they're going to kill the fish. They're going to oh. educate it in the daycare. Oh. And I said, yeah, th so we can do that. And, uh, and then we went to another beach, which is away from all the the famous oh, five four star hotels. Mm -hmm. So nobody take care of that beach. Mm -hmm. And there's so much trash there. So I yeah. went there, picked some trash up. Then I thought, yeah, maybe we can help <laughs> more people uh, who want to pick up trash. 
but there's maybe not everyone has time to do that every Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. They have their life going, maybe they're not here, but why not to just give away? We can buy some <coughs> um, give to people so they can do on their own schedule. Doesn't have to be every Saturday morning, mm -hmm. eight o'clock. Yeah, just whenever they right. take a walk. That's a great idea, yeah. Landy. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it that you had fun with Bluey on this. Did you mm. like picking up trash? Yes. Did you think it was fun? Yes. Oh, and you were going <laughs> to save all of those animals in the sea when you keep doing it. You're going to do it Very every fit. Saturday? Yeah. Save the jellyfish. <laughs> well, you know, there's one to save, maybe not the jellyfish. Sorry, jellyfish. Yeah, okay, well, we'll save them too. What the heck? Well, thank you so much, you guys, for um, for thinking of this. Yeah. I love it that you um, that you call Puerto Vallarta your home and that you want to make it better. Uh, Brent and me talked about this problem of the trash on CBS yeah, News. You know, if you live here, don't forget to watch CBS News every Monday at 7.30. Yeah. We talked about this. A bunch of um, yeah, John the, Benison. Remember the war on trash, and he's big with the with the little picky yeah, stick. Yeah, mm. yeah, he is. Yeah, a bunch of the of the um, of the trash trucks were broken down, and yeah. the uh, the government didn't have enough money, you know, to to get it fixed. And then, oh, it was a big deal. So a lot of the trash this year in summer was a big, huge problem. Yeah. Hopefully, with the new government coming yeah. in, they're going to fix that, you know, because they get you know a little bit more money for that or whatever. But it is a big mm. problem. And it's not just up to the government. Like people like you, you know, and all of us, we all need to help and clean up our beaches and clean up our Puerto Vallarta. So thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Um, tell me a little bit about Life with Louis channel. Um, yeah, so, you know, I did kind of mention our channel is just, you know, based about our life here um, and our experience in Mexico. You know, we've traveled a little bit throughout Mexico. Uh, and of course, I think one of the things that maybe sets us apart a little bit is that, you know, we are a family, relatively young family, uh, you know, living in Mexico. You, a lot of times when you see a lot of these YouTube channels, uh, they tend to be either younger or maybe already kind of retired. And so not so much about families living in Mexico because that adds a whole different dynamic to mm -hmm. living abroad. You know, yeah. having a little one, uh, whether you call Mexico home or any country in the world home, uh, it's going to come with its own set of challenges, you know, right. you know whether that comes with cost of living and uh, because, you know, we just did a video on cost of living, but if you're a single or just a couple, it's going to be very different as compared to if you have a child and all the expenses that yes. come with that medical mm -hmm. and, and education yeah. and entertainment and, and everything else. Yes. Uh, you know, so we like to kind of take it and look at it from that angle. Uh, you know, we obviously give our opinions based on our experiences, whether that's popular or not with other people. Um, but again, all we can do is just give our opinion and how we experience Mexico ourselves. And like I mentioned, all the good and bad that comes with it yeah and i like that you're like you're interviewing people that have lived here in different amounts of time some are business owners i mean you were nice enough to interview me last week yeah, yes. i kind of dropped that in look out for that one it was like i think somebody was like jesse's like three two well, there it is there it is shameless plug it's about me yeah go figure no i really enjoyed doing it i mean it was it was, it was like 45 minute interview it was very in-depth it was very interesting um so i, I love that you're doing that because it does give people that may be thinking about moving here or might just be getting here a glimpse into like different types of people that live here, like business owners, people that have been here for a long time, people that have been here for a short time. I think it's great. It's very relatable based right. on the interview that the questions that you're asking me. Yeah. Right. And, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And that's you know pretty much exactly you know why I do it. For I think when I was talking to you, Jesse, last time before I mentioned you know, those interviews are just for that because we know there's a lot of people who are considering maybe moving to Mexico, whether it's in the very near future or down the line. But again, they have to understand that Mexico really is for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. And so again, that's why I like to interview different people, you know, all different perspectives, you know, age range, um, you know, economic situations, whatever it might be. Don't be afraid to come to Mexico. No, no. And then one thing I really like, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're running out of time. We always are when I talk. Um, but the one thing, the one thing I really like is there's a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of information out there with somebody telling you how to prep to move to Mexico. But that's very, you know, it's very single. That's what works for them. Right. What I like about this is like you're talking to this wide range of people, like I mentioned, and so you're going to find the one that you relate to. Like mm -hmm. you might, I might not relate to what you say about moving here, but I might relate to what Mark said or someone else who you interview or what I say or Jesse in one of the episodes. So, you know, I, I like that. Cause like, if you don't find the episode that relates to you, just go to the next one. Right. And maybe that's the person. So I like the take on it. And I think it's a little bit different. I'm not disparaging anyone who does that whole, I'll prep you. Sure. But I like this, that like you pick the one that, like that works for you. That suits you. Right? Yeah, you can absolutely. connect with most. Oh, I love All it. Right.
Well, yes, like Brent said, we are running out of time. So how can listeners who are interested in supporting or joining your cause get in touch with you or stay updated with your channel? Do you to answer that? Okay, um, so obviously you can find us on YouTube. Just type in uh, Life with Louie Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have an Instagram and Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you are local, I think we posted on a couple of expat groups as far as keeping in touch with us for uh, the beach cleanup. Because we are waiting for the equipment to come in, we don't have a date set yet. It is on order. It's coming. Let's say within a couple of weeks, we should have a more detailed time. You know, and you know, we want to keep expanding on this idea. You know, we have a set limit of sticks that are coming in. Uh, for the first kind of few people who can join us, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, we can kind of continue doing this, but we, you know, I, we would also like to maybe ask for any sponsors out there who can help us, you know, to kind of keep this idea going, because my feeling is initially those first sticks are going to go pretty quick mm -hmm. and, and we want to do this long term. And so again, to kind of keep this moving, you know, it would be nice to have help from anybody out there who may be interested, you know, in a cause to, again, help your local beach, wherever that may be in Puerto Vallarta, stay clean. All right. Well, there you go. There you have it. Mm -hmm. And all of her information is going to be posted on the Arcas Asphalt page. And right now, guess what we're doing? We're going down to Mexico. It's ZZ Top. Thank you guys for coming with Thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you. And let's get to some music, Jay Z. Like our ZZ. Wow, you did so good. Yeah, buddy. Yes. <laughs> oh, high five, high five, balloon. I was like, what balloon? I can care less about you. Balloon me. Balloon me. Yeah, <laughs>